Hey guys, it's Carson Miller Tech here, back with another video, and in today's video, I'm gonna be unbagging, I guess I'll say, because I'm not really unboxing, the Purple Panda Lavalier Microphone, and the reason why I actually bought this was because it's currently on Amazon being sold for $19, which is pretty crazy, and I've seen some really good reviews about it, but I just want to try it out myself and see how it compares to, like, the internal mic of my camera and my Rode Video Micro. So, uh, yeah, let's see how well this works. I don't know if it's going to be good or not. It'll be going along on this journey with me. So really, this is all that came with it. It came in a small little box, and then there was just this plastic bag in it. But one thing that I noticed immediately, obviously, is that it comes with a little carrying bag, which is actually pretty nice. For some people, they may actually use that. I don't know if I'll use that, but inside of here, here is the extension cable. It comes with 9.8 feet of extension cable, so that's one cool thing. That was one of the biggest things that I got this for, is because it comes with this extension cable, and most others did not. Here's the actual microphone itself, and as you can see, it's basically same size as a regular lav mic. There's the clip that it came with, and yeah. And then here's a little windsock, which is also another huge thing of why I actually purchased this, because a lot of them did not come with the small windsock. Now, I don't know how well this will actually fit onto there, but we'll have to see. And I don't know how stupid this is gonna look because it's a super giant windsock for this small of a microphone. Okay, so there it actually is on the microphone. And that looks pretty funny, but this is probably how I'll be using it because I honestly shoot outside in the wind so often that this would be very handy, but I'll probably do a couple shots, one with this and then one with the windsock, so. Set that aside. Another thing that comes in here is compatibility guide. It is compatible with many different things. It comes with a couple different cables in here, actually. One of which converts TRRS to TRS, so this is just to go into your standard camera. This comes with a TRRS right here, and that's so then you can plug it into smartphones, and it should work that way. And another adapter in here somewhere, don't know where it is, right here. This is an adapter to plug into a GoPro, which is actually pretty cool. I personally won't be using this, but for some people, they may really like this because, you know, the GoPro audio isn't the greatest, so that's a plus, and then that is it for everything in the bag. So as you can see, you get very little amount of things here, but it actually is a lot in total for what you pay for. So let's now actually get into some testing of how well this actually sounds compared to some of my other microphones. For this first test, this is currently being recorded on the onboard audio of my camera, so it's probably pretty much trash because the audio of it sounds terrible, especially if wind comes along at all. But right now I'm gonna be switching right now to the Purple Panda microphone. Now, obviously I have it super exposed right now and you can definitely see it, but you could obviously conceal this under clothing and stuff, but I just wanted to make sure to have it out here so then you guys can see I'm actually using it right now. But now I'm just gonna plug in the Purple Panda. So now that I have the Purple Panda plugged in, you should be able to hear the fact that it has a little bit different sound because I know with lavalier mics, obviously it picks up just really close to it. So you're probably hearing my voice a lot clearer, but I don't know how much clearer. So uh, future Carson, how does this sound? I mean, it sounds a lot better than the internal mic of the camera, but we're gonna have to see until a little bit later when I compare it to the Rode. Now, obviously one thing, like I said, is that this thing has 9.8 feet of extension cable. Like, look how far back I'm walking right now and can still have this. Can still have this lav mic on, it looks pretty hilarious, but it has a super long cable, so if you're looking to use this in places where you need a long cable, it definitely has that. So, now you're probably wondering, well, what does this sound like compared to the Rode? At least I know I'm wanting to hear what that sounds like, so I'm gonna plug in my Rode microphone. So, you do have to keep in mind that we are comparing a $60 microphone to a $20 microphone, but honestly, I don't know how these are gonna sound right now. There's a little bit of a breeze, so currently this may be picking up noise, whereas I know the Video Micro won't be because of the gigantic windsock that it has. Obviously, like I said earlier, it comes with this giant little windsock that can go on the microphone, actually, but look how giant it is. It looks, it looks pretty funny, so, <laughs> I mean, it depends on what you want, but one super cool thing about this, like I said earlier, you can actually plug this into your smartphone and sync up the audio later in post. So I'm actually recording this right now on my phone, so I can just walk around 
And right now this is just through the Rode Video Micro, but now that you're listening to this through the purple Panda, you're probably hearing the fact that this is much more clear as the road is a lot more echoey because it has to pick up noise from a further distance. Now that's obviously a plus of having a lav mic. But you have to think about audio quality. So audio quality, Future Carson. How does this actually sound? Honestly, I think it is sounding amazing. I've been editing this video for the past 45 minutes or so. And I am honestly astounded at how great the sound actually sounds coming from this. For what I use my microphones for, I actually may be switching over to using this full time instead of my Rode Video Micro. Now I'm not saying the Rode Video Micro sounds bad because it sounds really good, but considering I shoot in outside scenarios very, very often, this picks up so much less surrounding noise around me that I am definitely probably gonna be using this as often as I can. Now there's definitely many situations where the Rode Video Micro sounds much better than this and it's more practical also, such as situations where I don't know, you're vlogging, obviously you're not gonna wanna have a lav mic on you when you're vlogging. I mean, maybe some people may wanna do that, but I know that that will just be a lot of pain for me, so I don't really wanna ever do that. But you could definitely use this for many situations, and I really, really like it so far. So honestly, I'm giving this a big giant thumbs up for how great it sounds for the price. Now obviously there are other lav mics out there that sound much better than this. I've noticed that one thing is that this picks up sound very, very loudly. Like obviously it's closer to you and that's probably why, but if you purchase this yourself, you definitely wanna turn down the mic in because it is very loud and it does peak it sometimes because it's just so close to you. And yeah, so. So anyways guys, in final conclusion, would I suggest purchasing this over the Rode Video Micro? Well, it definitely does depend on what situations you're using this in. But for me, if you're shooting in outdoor situations or like interview settings, I would highly, highly recommend this. This sounds amazing, especially for the price, like I've already said. So if you're wanting to purchase it, I'll be leaving a link down in the description below. It's not sponsored or anything. This entire video was personal opinions. I bought this with my own money. So uh, yeah, anyways guys, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think about this microphone yourself down in the comments below. If you'd like to subscribe and see more videos from me in the future, make sure to click the big button below to subscribe, even if you're on mobile. If you'd like to check out my last video, that should be up there and some random video should be down there. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.